We know many things about the Sun, but a lot of that knowledge has been gained very recently. Working out what makes the Sun shine was a process of eliminating different hypotheses, ideas, until one was found that best fits the evidence. The Greek philosopher Aristotle believed the Sun was made of ether, a perfect substance that glows forever. However, in 1613, Galileo Galilei observed sunspots on the Sun, and these imperfections showed that the Sun could not be made of ether. Coal was burned in steam engines to power the UK's Industrial Revolution. This made scientists wonder whether the Sun was a giant lump of coal, but calculations showed that a Sun made of coal would shine for less than 1500 years, and this is a shorter time than recorded history. However, Efforts to understand steam power led to the principle of conservation of energy. This led scientists to look for other sources of energy that could be transferred by light. Scientists like Hermann von Helmholtz believed the kinetic energy of meteorites, lumps of rock, colliding with the sun could be this source of energy. However, the total mass of meteorites was too small and they were not moving fast enough to provide the required energy. Other scientists imagined that the Sun was once much bigger so that it only just fitted inside the Earth's orbit. But the gravitational energy released when it collapsed to its present size could only have provided enough energy for 100 million years, which was not enough time for the evolution of different species on Earth to have taken place. Then radioactivity was discovered and Einstein showed that mass can be transformed into energy. This led scientists to work out that the Sun is powered by thermonuclear fusion, though a fully formed theory did not appear until 1939.